I'm Will Kane in for Laura Ingram on this special edition of the Ingram Angle from New York City tonight. I want to wish a very big congratulations to the Biden administration because they have hit a brand new record. We did it. We did it, Joe. You're going to be the next president of the United States. <laughs> They did it. We just learned that last month they had the highest number of illegal immigrant apprehensions at the border ever for the month of August. And so far in this fiscal year, there's been nearly 233,000 apprehensions already beating out last year. That's basically importing a Boise, Idaho, a Spokane, Washington, a Scottsdale, Arizona every month. So that's Joe Biden's closed border. It's so locked down that we needed to go now live to Eagle Pass, Texas, where Fox News national correspondent Griff Jenkins is there to show us exactly how tight this closed border is by the Biden administration. Griff. Hey, Will. Good evening. Happy Friday to you. And it just doesn't stop. The numbers keep coming and coming here in Eagle Pass. You walk along the riverbank, Will, and you see that this is a crisis. Texas putting the miles of this dense, dangerous barbed wire, razor wire, which isn't stopping the migrants from coming through. In fact, let's go to our drone in the sky right now. And you can see it's getting hotter in the afternoon. The groups have been smaller the last few hours, but we see still just a couple of migrants. The back part of a larger group that came earlier, they're still struggling to negotiate that razor wire trying to get through. Why? Because they know that this administration favors mass catch and release, and they are likely to be guaranteed the ability to stay, get a notice to appear at a court date years from now that they won't show up to. And now, in the case of Venezuelans, many will be able to get a work authorization and get work, which is the reason why they left their countries to begin with. But economic insecurity isn't enough to qualify for asylum under our laws, yet this administration has created an incentive to get them here. And you talk about the 232000 a month of August. It's just in a long stream of this year, fiscal year. We now know, CBP sources confirming to us, Will, that there is nearly 2.4 million migrant encounters, the most ever on record, breaking last year's all-time high record of 2.378 uh, million. And it's just not stopping with 2,400 in the last 24 hours here. Now, let me show you some of the video that we've been shooting all day today and yesterday of the migrants going through that razor wire. But not all of them make it, Will. In fact, just a few hours ago, they pulled yet another body from the river just feet from where we're standing. It's the third drowning in as many days, three drownings in three days. That is why these agents are having to see this and they're reaching a breaking point, Will. They're overworked. They're overwhelmed. They don't see support from an administration. They don't see policy changes coming. And yet the numbers keep rising and rising. And now they're having to pull bodies out of this river or treat wounded migrants coming through the razor wire. Now, here in Maverick County, the sheriff, Tom Schmerber, that uh, is in Maverick County where Eagle Pass is a part of. I asked him, can you sustain this? Can this continue? Here's what he had to say. Take a listen. Can Maverick County sustain these numbers? No, no way, no way. As you can see, uh, there's people here walking and they're, they're not running away from anybody because they know they, they're, they're not going to be stopped by anybody. And here in Eagle Pass, that's the situation, but other sectors are getting hammered as well, Will. In El Paso, they're seeing the same surge in numbers and in three cases they've had in the last 24 hours, confirmed cases of tuberculosis, highly contagious disease, and it is hard to overstate how difficult it is for Border Patrol agents to mitigate having overwhelmed numbers and your shelters are over capacity, so you have nowhere to put them, and now you have to contact trace among two, three, four thousand people a day with tuberculosis running through it. It's absolutely a crisis in every sense of it and uh, no sign yeah. of it slowing down. Yeah. Will? Live images right there, Griff, you're giving us of people trying to make their way through that way razor wire into the United States. Thank you so much, Griff. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.